Hey guys, it is Dan here back with another video. I am in the same place that I was at the start of the last video because it is the same day. I'm in the car because my space that I use to record and stuff is currently being used for something else, which is just the nature of lockdown and the way things are and living in a house with other people. I'm doing a video on this pedal, the Ibanez New Tube Screamer. Why is it called a New Tube Screamer? Well, it's got a new tube in it, which is Korg's new technology, which is like a tube, but kind of on a PCB port, no, a PCB board, I believe. So it's kind of like a more reliable, much smaller tube. And there's one in this tube screamer. The other difference between this and a normal TS-808 is the mix control where you can blend the clean and overdrive. It's just a really great sounding tube screamer pedal. It is one of the best tube screamers I've ever played. And it got a lot of hate online when it came out because it was quite expensive. Let me just clarify to start with. I'm coming into this review having paid much less for this pedal than I should have. I found it used for an absolute deal. It was $150 Australian. They sell new in Australia for around $350 and used go for around $250. So this was an absolute deal. So my judgment might not be as clear cut and concise as it should be, I guess. Anyway, why do I think this is such a great pedal? Well, it can do tube screamer sounds, which is awesome because everyone loves to tube screamer mostly. It can do full range overdrive sounds. The mid hump in this pedal is not as drastic in some positions on the tone control as a normal tube screamer, which is great if you're not a fan of that mid hump, which I know a lot of people aren't a fan of that mid hump. The other thing is, the mix control is really handy. If you put it all the way to clean, it becomes a great clean boost kind of reminiscent of a micro amp like an mxr micro amp but with less gain and if you put it all the way to drive it's just a classic overdrive tone i've played a lot of tube screamers in my time playing guitar you know i've played vintage ibanez tube screamers i've played you know cheap copies i've played boutique copies i've played you know standard reissue ibanez tube screamers this is the best one I've played. Actually, that's a lie. I've got a vintage Ibanez TS9 that's better, but if I wanted versatility, it would be this one 100%. And I think it's 100% worth the $350 that they charge for a new out of the store. I know this video is not gonna do it justice, how it sounds, but I just really need to stress how good this pedal is and how much better it is than any other, well, almost any other Tube Screamer that I've played. This is so good. If you want a Tube Screamer, you get this. If you want a more full range open drive, you get this. If you want a clean boost, you get this. And it's not like a jack of all trades, master of none. It's a master of all those sounds. So I cannot stress to you enough how much you need to go and at least try one of these out. I know it's expensive, I know the new tube is such a gimmick. I don't care about the new tube, to be honest. I just care about how it sounds. I think the fact that it's new tube makes it look really cool because it's white with green instead of green with the... Sorry, I was just looking at my other tube screen. With black writing, I think that's really cool. Um, and the new tube has like a magic eye thing where it lights up when you're playing. That's kind of gimmicky, it's kind of weird. It's kind of cool, but like why but you need to try one of these i cannot stress to you enough how good this pedal is so i'm going to give you some sound samples now like i said they're not going to do it justice i'm not i'm not a good enough player to make this sound as good as it does no that's not quite right actually i get good sounds out of it i'm an average player i'm not the worst player out there right okay i'm definitely not the best feel like i've dug myself into a hole here I'm not a good player, but I can get good sounds out of this pedal, right? But it's not gonna do it justice because it just sounds so much better in person. That's what I'm trying to say. So please do yourself a favor and check one of these out. I cannot recommend it enough. I hope you enjoy this demonstration of this Ibanez new tube screamer. Please let me know what you think of it in the comments below. I love going through the comments and the community that we have down there like subscribe if you want to i um, don't really care i just like the community more than anything but please let me know what you think of this panel and please go try one i will see you guys in the next video
Thank mm-hmm. you. 